welcome to my channel my name is Winnie Jean if you're new here and if you're returning then hey girl how you doing in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I got this like middle part bangs with lots of layers and kind of like a blunt cut on the bottom I was super inspired by the 60s and the 70s if I could I would be reborn during that time I feel like this era is not for me anyway I feel like this hair came out really really cute it's super simple and it's very beginner friendly because you don't have to lay the lace perfectly since you really can't see it if you botch the install and you get the cut right you're in the clear today's video is sponsored by hermosa hair they sent me over this 13 by 4 lace frontal wig it's in 22 inches and 220 percent density so it's super full and it kind of came in clutch for this cut because when you cut a lot of layers you kind of lose a little bit of fullness on the bottom but i feel like she's still giving so without further ado if you guys want to see how i got this look then go ahead and keep watching Today's video is sponsored by Hermosa Hair. They sent me over this really pretty straight frontal wig. All the details will be down below in the description bar, but she came plucked for the gods. I just had to go ahead and bleach the knots a little bit. So before we can even get into the install, let me go ahead and pop a wig cap on. I also put a little bit of makeup on it to make sure it blended with my actual complexion. And that is all for my own hair prep. To begin prepping the wig, I'm going in and cutting out any of these combs behind the frontal. I only keep the comb in the back. So I'm just using my razor comb and cutting those threads and I'm also going to go in and trim off any additional lace on the back of the wig so we can go ahead and try her on and see what she's given. And with my comb I'm just going to part out any hair I need to trim off so that my wig fits really well around my ears. Y'all know the drill. And I have a big head so I love Hermosa hair because their wigs come with a wide frontal and I actually have a little bit more room to play with for my install. Sometimes frontals can be not wide enough for my head and I hate when that happens. So to install the hair, I'm using my black even spray. I'm going in and spraying a little bit, hitting it with my blow dryer so it's tacky, and then I'm gonna just lay the lace right into that glue. I find sprays to be the easiest product to use to install a wig. I feel like you cannot go wrong with a spray just because it dries really quickly and it's not very messy. Glues can get really messy if you don't know what you're doing, especially when you get into four and five layers. It just can become a lot. So I'm using my spray and I'm just kind of pulling the lace back, applying a little bit of spray, hitting it with my blow dryer until it's tacky, laying the lace, and this is what I have so far. As you can see, it's laid. The lace is really, really good quality. It's nice and laid. I spray a little bit of the adhesive spray onto this little card that came with my wig cap and I'm just dipping the edge of my comb into it and tapping it along the edges of the lace to make sure that I have all of the lace melted in. And once I'm done with that, I go ahead and pop on my elastic band so we can go ahead and get into the styling of the wig. Now I'm using my little Chi blow dryer. It comes with a lot of different attachments and I have the brush attachment on because the hair is like 80, 90% dry, but I wanted to make sure it's nice and bone dry before we go ahead and start to use any styling products. So once I have it nice and blow dry, we can get into the cut and I'm starting off with a blunt cut on the bottom. If you are familiar with my channel, you know I'm gonna trim these ends. One thing I'm not gonna do is leave scraggly ends on the wig. The only wigs I typically don't cut are curly wigs, but if I want a shape, I'll cut them. But for a straight or body wave wig off the top, I'm gonna trim the ends. You cannot have scraggly ends on your frontals. I just, I can't have it. I will not stand for it. And then I'm going in with a lighter hold hairspray. This is the Tresemme hairspray and I'm just spraying that along the roots and pressing out my frontal. I want a nice clean middle part for this style and typically for a nice clean part, I like to go in and press my hair out in layers, not just on top to get it as flat as possible. And once we have that done, I'm gonna go ahead and part out a triangle in the front of my hair and I'm using my razor comb to get the cut started. I'm actually using an eyebrow razor because I couldn't find my razor comb, but I don't wanna hear no judgment in the comments, okay? I'm making it do what I can. This little eyebrow razor is coming in handy today. I could not find my razor comb for the life of me and it was literally under a towel on my desk. But you know what? We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work and not everybody has a razor comb. So if you have a little eyebrow archer, honey, 
perfect for a razor cut. The reason I went for a razor cut with this style is because I don't want it to look really harsh. I feel like when you cut bangs straight across with scissors, it can give a very blunt, like, just not what I'm going for. I want a very wispy, almost like you had fresh bangs a week ago or you had fresh bangs a month ago and they kind of grew out and got a little bit softer. I love that style. It looks very like 60s, very soft, very smoking weed in the lily field. And I just, I want that for me. To clean up the part, I'm using a little bit of concealer. And so far she is giving, the cut is given, everything is, you know, looking the way that I want it to. I'm gonna go in with my flat iron and just press the hair out, get it nice and bone straight. And that's when the cut is really gonna come alive and you're gonna really be able to see what the cut looks like. I'm also using my one and a half inch curling iron to add a little bit of bump to the ends. I don't want it to be curled at all, but I feel like my one inch flat iron kind of gives too tight of a bump sometimes. So lately I've been going in with my curling iron instead. And I love the way that it finishes off a straight hairstyle. I went in with a little bit of my wax stick and just pressed out that part one more time before going in with my curling iron and bumping the rest of the ends on the hair. And right now it's giving very 2009, 2007 Kim K-esque, but I want my bangs a little bit shorter. So I'm reparting out that section and I'm going in with my scissors this time and I'm just kind of, you know, going for the gusto with the cut. I cut about an extra inch off of my bangs with the scissors and then I went back in with my razor comb to just kind of soften those edges up a bit. My bangs came to about the tip of my nose and because I had cut the middle of my bangs a little bit shorter, I had to take that cut down along the sides and just kind of blend everything in. So I'm going back and forth between my razor comb and my scissors and just blending in the layers between the shorter bangs and the longer layers we added in there earlier. And when I tell you with this cut, I went in, I literally went in. The cut took me about 30 to 45 minutes just because I'm doing it on myself, but I love the way it came out. Okay, so I went ahead and cut the bangs a teensers more. I'm doing it in this really small mirror at my desk and I can't really see the way I want to. So I went in and I cut the bangs just a little bit more because I feel like it fits my face better. I have really high cheekbones and if I put stuff here, it just makes my face look kind of like long and it doesn't, it don't do nothing for my features. It just, I look like a puppy. So I cut the bangs a little bit shorter just to kind of fit my face a little bit better and I really like the way that it came out. I feel like I could go to Woodstock, you know what I mean? Maybe, I don't know. I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video. Thank you again to Hermosa Hair for working with me. All the details about the hair will be down below in the description bar if you guys want to go ahead and pick it up as well as a coupon code so y'all can save a couple of coins and I will see you in my next video. I love you. Bye babes.